Hello viewer, welcome to my YouTube channel Software Testing. Today I'll talk about Selenium IDE. As you know, when Selenium IDE is introduced, it supports only Firefox browser as add-in. Now it supports also Chrome and Microsoft Edge browser add-in too. So today I'll show you how to install Selenium IDE as Microsoft Edge add-in. So let's go to the computer screen. I'll show you step-by-step -step process how to do that. Hello viewer, now I am at computer screen. So today's topics I set it up this way. Install Selenium IDE in Microsoft Edge. Then we'll search Selenium IDE for Edge add-on. Then we'll install Selenium IDE, launch Selenium IDE. Then we'll record and run our test. In order to do that, first we need to open Microsoft Edge. Then you can navigate google.com. Then you need to type in search box Selenium IDE extension for AS. And then hit enter. You will get the first link like Microsoft AS add ons, Selenium IDE, Microsoft AS add on. Click on that link, it will take you to the add on space. So here is the Selenium IDE. Right side, you see there is the option gate. If Selenium IDE is already installed in your system, then you will not get this option. So we have an option over here, get, click over here. It is checking and it will give you the pop-up, this message, add Selenium IDE to Microsoft Edge, this extension, whatever it is, then you need to click add extension. Once you click add extension, it will start installing. After install, you will get this message. Selenium IDE has been added to Microsoft Edge. How you will get that extension? That is the direction. Close this thing. Your Selenium IDE icon is disappear from the toolbar. So how you can enable and always you will see in the toolbar. So you need to go to the three dot option over here. Then you need to go extension. Here you will get the Selenium IDE. You see there is a show in toolbar option. It is disabled. Click that. It will be enabled. Now you can see Selenium IDE in toolbar. So now click on that icon Selenium IDE. Selenium IDE will open. Maximize this one. You see there are a couple of options over here. Record a new test in a new project. Open existing project. Create a new project. Close Selenium IDE. That means if you have already a project, you can open that one. Create a new project, close. You can close Selenium IDE from here. So we'll do first option, record a new test in a new project. Click that link, it will ask you project name. Let me put that project name is a project one. So it is basically this name will be totally depends on which project you are working on. So based on that, this name will be. As a testing purpose, I just put project one, then click OK. Once you will click OK, it is asking URL, which URL you want to test. So basically, I need to test, let's say, google.com. Copy that URL, google.com. Then put it over here. Then start recording. You see, it is start recorded already. Browser open Microsoft Edge and Google Home page appear. We'll search for the software testing. After typing hit enter, it is the software testing search result, right? So let's say uh, after that, we'll close the browser. Close the browser. Then in Selenium IDE right side, you see there is a stop recording button. You can stop it from here. So click stop. It is asking the test name. We, what about your test name will be? Let me put the test name as a Google search. Then hit OK. You see, this is the test name. Now this is your test, whatever you did. You open Google, Google home page. Then you search with some keyword, then you take a look that, then close the browser. So here is run button, you see. Middle one is the run current test. First one, 
run all tests if you have multiple tests recorded over here then you can do that thing so we have only one test we will do the run current test click over here you see it is running browser open it starts and close so quick so fast so that means our installation successful we launch selenium ide then we record our test and run our test whatever our topics is all we covered so search selenium id is yes, that covered install selenium id that also covered launch selenium id it is also covered record and run the test that's all covered that's all for today's tutorial i believe those who are new in software automation testing using selenium id this video will be very helpful for themselves if you think this is helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and share it to others also, if you have any question, please make a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video.